Hey everybody, welcome back to Kim Folk Farms. My name is Shane. Appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out our channel. I wanted to give you guys an update on our pigs. It's probably like the fourth update I think we've had on these pigs. We have really been struggling trying to get these things to the processor. Uh, we were supposed to send them Monday. Today's Thursday, so we've missed our processing date. We called the processor. He has no problem with us just bringing them whenever we can. They're finally trying to get up and move around a little bit. I'm shocked because it is like 96 degrees out here. It is scorching hot. I'm just rolling in sweat. But my plan is, I, got, I think I got a plan. <laughs> I hooked the truck up. So tonight I'm going to take my wife's car to work and back. And uh, in the morning, put in some food, shut the door on whichever ones we got, and we're headed to the processor. And I guess we'll worry about the rest the following Monday because he don't take any animals over the weekend. But uh, tomorrow will be Friday. We're going to make another run at this uh, in the morning. Hopefully get, to, if I get two in here, I'll be happy. We actually had two go in yesterday while I was out here uh, messing around. So I filmed that and put it on Facebook and Instagram both. So if y'all go check that out, that's kind of fun. But hopefully this works, guys. I'm going to give them a little food, and uh, little food now just to see if they'll eat some. I really doubt it. It's so hot. But regardless, we'll bait them up and <laughs> see if they'll start going in the trailer. I hope that sun's not too bright. It is so scorching hot. Well, let's see if we can get some to come in. We got them all on the, well, all on the feet, but one. One is still laid out there in the mud hole. Pick, pick. But they got to where they're coming right in. I will sit down and we'll watch them for a minute. So if we can get two, if I can get two of these jokers to load up, I will be so tickled. Yesterday we had two load up right off the bat. And it's usually that one with the spots. One with the spots is coming up, about to come up the ramp now. She's always been one, the first in line to load up. And then I think this one. So once we get these two hauled off, I'm thinking, whoops, I'm sorry about that. Once we get these two hauled in the morning, I was hoping all of them would, but. Oh, sugar pants over there. She ain't want to come out of the mud hole. It's just so stinking hot. I worry about these two eating everything up and then the other two not having anything at night or for the rest of the day. But regardless, we got two that's loading up pretty easy. We got two that's loading up pretty easy. And my plan is in the morning, once they get to feeding, I'll take a store, slide it in, and... Uh, we take a ratchet strap and ratchet strap the top and that really locks that thing in and and I'll unscrew the ramp. I got the ramp screwed to the trailer where they can't haul, move it all around. And after that, boom, I'm gone. I'm out. But we'll get these two done and hopefully 
I mean, I'll come back that afternoon, back the trailer back up, and hopefully by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that Monday morning, Travis can take the other two because I'll be working. I'll have to work. But so far, so good. They're looking good. Stick around. Next clip <laughs> will be me in the morning. Oh, I'm sweating. Will be me in the morning, hopefully shutting this thing down and getting on the road. Well, it's the next day and don't look like we're going to have much problems at all getting these girls loaded up. At least two. If I can get two, I'm shutting it down. We're good. I drove all night. I, I got a couple hours nap in my tractor. Uh, just got home. They all look hungry. There's not a single crumb in the trailer. <laughs> so we're going to see how many we can get loaded up. If I can get all four, that'd be fantastic. Well, and then there were two. These two just will not load up. Uh, I think it's because it's just so crowded. We're going to run these jokers to the processor, come back, and if I can get them loaded back up this afternoon, I'll make another trip down there. She is definitely not happy. This one right here, she could care less. We're going to get to rolling uh, and get these guys calmed down. Let's head to the processor. Well, all right, guys, if y'all are anywhere near Montezuma, Georgia, if you have a cow or a sheep or a goat or a pig, or if you're just out doing some deer hunting, come to Yoder's Butcher Block out here in Montezuma, Georgia. Uh, these guys are the absolute best. They're the most nice people you'll ever meet. Uh, if you miss your appointment, <laughs> they'll still take your stuff. If you got pigs or anything needs to be processed, check out Yoder's. They're absolutely great. Let's head back to the house. We're going to see if we can load these other two up. Uh, not quite sure if they'll go on or not. But if not, he told me I can bring them Monday so I can work with them all weekend and try to train these other two. But stick around, guys. We're headed back another hour and 45 minutes back to the house. All right. Well, we're not going to drag this out much longer. We got two hauled off to the processor. 
uh, and all that remains are these two that refuse to go in. <laughs> I backed everything back up, built up the feeder full of corn, threw some marshmallows in there, and I know I've got a thousand suggestions. Everybody says put them to the back and all that. I'm gonna get some more tonight. I'm putting some up here. I'm just gonna. I still got three days to lure these jokers in here. So. But we'll just keep working with them. Guys, I really, really appreciate all the comments I got. Everybody's got a different way of doing this. It's just like doing the bees. <laughs> Everybody's got a different way of doing this. Uh, but next year, oh, we will definitely take a bunch of those suggestions to heart. We are, I heard about putting the, the rails on the outside, closing them off like a wall where they can't see. Uh, Homestead and Hardway, you guys go check out Homestead and Hardway, Chris and Darlene over there. If you're not watching them, they are awesome. He's the pig guru. That joker knows about his pigs. But uh, he was telling me to put the rails on the outside, and a couple others were too. But uh, we're actually going to make this, we're going to use this as a feeder pen next year. We're just going to feed them in and out of here. It seems like that would just make all the sense in the world. So we're going to do that next year. And... I don't know what else we're going to do, but I know we're going to make that a feeder pen next year. That just seems like the most the most common sense thing to do is feed them when you're going to haul them and just close the door and go. I heard that a bunch of times, so we will definitely do that next year because this pen is just huge. I mean, it's a, it's a huge yard, and everybody was saying close it out tighter and all that. We just don't have the equipment. <laughs> Actually, this is all the equipment we got left. We hot wire the whole fence, so hey, you deal with what you got, you know. She's wanting it. I actually gave them a couple of marshmallows just to get them on their feet before I started videoing. But guys, I'm going to let y'all go. I really appreciate y'all watching our video. Do me a favor. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, click that uh, subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Uh, share, like, all that good stuff. Right, honey? Right? <laughs> Do all that stuff for me. Hey, and go check out Chris and Darlene over there at Homestead and Hardway. Those guys come up with some really cool stuff they are some true farmers i really love that channel i hate i don't they got a friday night uh, live show too they go for hours and with any questions that you want uh, friday nights at eight uh, i'm always uh, stuck at the house so i don't i don't hardly watch youtube when i'm at the house but but guys i appreciate it do me a favor again subscribe like share we will see y'all oh check us out on facebook and instagram we will see y'all on the next video